Good morning and welcome back to another MacTastic Productions. Uh, we're here at the beautiful mm -hmm. Grand Floridian Resort and Spa and we're having breakfast this morning mm -hmm. at 1900 Park Fair. Yeah. <laughs> now this restaurant's been here for a long time, mm -hmm. many years and it's been four years since it's been closed. Oh wow. And now it's opening it. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so there is some new characters. Ooh. I believe it's gonna be Tiana, Aladdin as Prince Ali. Uh, there's gonna be Mirabel and Cinderella. Oh wow. And I heard even the dining experience is Ooh. all brand new with a new theming, re-theming of the actual restaurant. So we're excited to see how that is. Yeah. So come along with us. Let's join Prince Ali and friends on this Mac Taxi production. We're right outside the 1900 Park Fair and they have this awesome menu display here. They have like the carousel horse here mm -hmm. and over here it says magical stories in Victorian pastimes. Here's the breakfast selections here. And then the serving times are from eight to 12 for breakfast and four to nine for dinner. And you can scan the QR code here so you can get the menu on your app. We're gonna show you in detail when we get inside. But so far, very beautiful, very Victorian. I love this. It's so pretty, just like the inside. And we also noticed that somebody is like, is a signature underneath the horse there. So if you guys can see that, really neat from the artist. So we just checked in and we noticed the wallpaper here. The wallpaper is representing the old school theme of the restaurant where it had the carousel horses with the carousel. Look at that little bunnies, all different type of horses and the star. It looks like everything's around wish making this year. Look, they even have a camel there. I love it, it's so beautiful. We have here the beverage menu. We have the specialty cocktails here. You can see the different types they have, the French 75, the Spicy Paloma, and all these are great breakfast cocktails. Bloody Mary's, ooh, dangerous drink. Sparkling Hibiscus, Passion Fruit Daiquiri, the Strawberry Rose Spritz, wow. Then you have the Zero Proof Cocktails, which are like mocktails. You got the Agave Garden, the Pink London Spritzer, and then you have, of course, your espresso, your cappuccinos, and your coffee lattes. And also, if you wanted wine for breakfast, you can. Never, it's never too early for wine. You got sparkling rosé, white, reds, uh, beer, hard cider, and hard seltzer. So you can have that also. You have non-alcoholic, non-alcoholic specialty beverages, which is specialty character drinks. So, uh, one called so many wishes a lavender lemonade and a frozen cappuccino extensive uh, beverage menu here for at the 1900 part of the wallpapers here too it's uh, giving a little um, take back to the old theming of the restaurant um, like the horses and the merry-go-round um, so it's just beautiful the color in here is stunning and the food smells delicious. We can't wait to try the food. So just to show you what the uh, the breakfast is, it's 54 uh, 
per adult plus tax, and then 34 per child plus tax, plus gratuity here. Here's the breakfast offers, uh, offerings, the bread pudding with vanilla cream, ooh, donut holes, the strawberry soup, which is very famous, I heard, the double chocolate muffins, guava cream cheesecake danish, ooh, these are all the, like desserts here. Beef and potato hash, classic eggs benedict, ooh. We have almond selection, scrambled eggs, cheesy scrambled uh, eggs, bacon, Disney bacon. You got the pork sausage, chicken sausage, biscuits and gravy. Wow, look at all this. Look at all that they offer here at the 1900 Park Fair. Oh, smoked salmon. Wow, an assortment of fruit, cereals, and pastries. Mm-hmm. You got, and then you got uh, food for our for our kids. We have um, the cold brew martini. These are the specialty drinks that I mentioned earlier here. Right here, very, very neat. Awesome, awesome offerings here. And I can't wait to show you uh, in, uh, on video the actual food here. But the main thing is, guys, is the pricing here. So Map is gonna start with the strawberry rose spritz. It's La Petite de Rose, Rocky's Botanical Liqueur, Tito's Handmade Vodka, we had Tito's before, and Strawberry. Oh, this drink is beautiful. Look at this beautiful I love the color. color. I love the, the color. Straw. It's a big old strawberry. Big strawberry on there, yeah, on the garnish. And the flavors is so bubbly and fruity at the same time, but it's the alcohol there, the Tito's, doesn't overpower the drink. And I love that it's the spritz. So it tastes very refreshing, kind of like if I'm drinking like a wine, but it's not a wine, it's a cocktail. But I really enjoy this one and I love the presentation of the drink. It's really beautiful and amazing. So I would definitely give this a five out of five for me. And I will start out with the zero proof cocktail. I'm starting out with the pink London spritzer as Leary's Pink London Non-Alcoholic Spirit Grapefruit Soda Pomegranate Green Tea Lime and Mint Oh wow, this drink is awesome For a mocktail, it's really good It's really tart, that grapefruit soda It's awesome, the pomegranate here I love the color here Yeah, you look see at that? that, it's beautiful yeah. And I love carbonated like spritzers Like this was, this was this, this is what it is Like and bubbly They are bubbly Delicious, I love the color like I said. If you like mocktails, you like spritz, you like grapefruit soda, the tartness, go with this. This is excellent. I give this, I say a four out of five for this one. Five out of five, it had a little garnish, but right now it's a four out of five. <laughs> and they also have coffee, which I'm having my coffee. And they have what they call here, the wishing juice, <laughs> which is really cocktail. But they do offer these as well. Complimentary, so, so. And this is all included with your dinner. I mean, your breakfast. <laughs> not yet. Dinner, not, not yet. yet. Dinner will be next. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is included. The mocktails that we were just showing, those are not included. So well, the, my mocktail additional. and your alcoholic drink, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. separate. Pattern, it looks oh, just like the mountains around in the Encanto. You know what I like the most? That you're 
one of our favorites because he's from Colombia. His family is from Colombia. Yes. No way, que yes. chévere. So you know how to make arepas con queso, Oh, right? I love arepas con queso. They're the best. They're the best. You just taught me how to make arepas con queso. Well, you already know the recipe. Yeah. Well, maybe <laughs> we can have an arepa making party. I think it'd be super fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, arepa queso. Yeah, arepa queso. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you, Mirabel. Oh, thank you, you for so visiting. Oh, you look so You smell so nice, too. Thank you. It's all the cafecito, huh? <laughs> Wow, she's so cute. And I love it. She smells so good too, guys. So if, if you guys are huggers like us, oh my god, and like she is, she smells wonderful. Her outfit is so beautiful, so unique. This is actually the first time that we actually get to see Mirabelle in person because we've seen most of the um, characters but we have not been able to see her like in person because we haven't been able to see her. The lines are usually too big in the Magic Kingdom so this is a great way to see Mirabelle now. Babe, I'm sorry. Don't get jealous now, okay? I just gotta <laughs> get credit where credit is due, okay? Thanks. Uh -huh. I think you guys look pretty amazing yourselves. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Are you thank enjoying you. your breakfast so far? Yes. yes. Yeah, so great. far, this entire room is beautiful. Yeah. I was, you missed me crying because I came in here and I was in tears. It's so nice. Beautiful. I mean, it is kind of like a whole new world, huh? It is a whole new world. <laughs> yeah. You're absolutely right. You know, it's shining, shimmering, and splendid. Yeah. And these amazing paintings are pretty great, huh? Yeah, they are. Well, especially that one there, huh? Like that one is cute. I remember, I thought it was just a worthless piece of junk, right? Yeah. But I look. Yeah. And then I realized it's not so much what's on the outside, but what's on the inside. Yeah. Right? That's why I learned just to be myself, right? Yeah, that's the important thing. Just be yourself. It's very that's important. Right. Don't ever try to be like someone else. It never works. Yeah, and once you're yourself, that's when the real magic begins. Yeah. Enough to make your wishes come true, right? That's yes, it. absolutely. Hey, where's Jasmine? Jasmine's back at the palace, actually. Yeah? Yeah, she's with Raja today. And it's okay. so nice for them to be able to spend some quality time together. Okay. Yeah, well, that's true. Well, I'm glad you're spending quality time with us here. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Definitely brushing up on my uh, prince skills. Uh -huh. Can I take a picture? Sure. Yeah, let me awesome. take a picture of you first because I gotta get this outfit. It looks, you look handsome. I, I'm sorry to say that, but you do. Hey, anytime. My wife said, you look awesome. Thank you so much, awesome, my friend. Awesome hey. outfit. Hey, you guys are welcome here anytime. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Until Thank next you time. Visiting. Anytime. See you around, Prince Ali. Yeah. Oh, please. Call me a lad. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you see? Wow. He look amazing. As Prince Ali. I've never seen Aladdin in his uh, regal Prince outfit. Regal outfit. And, oh, and he, oh, wow. He, he looks very handsome. I'm sorry, babe, but he does. Very handsome. Good very guy. handsome. Good looking, Good looking guy. guy. And I know why Jasmine fell in love with him right away. And he has the great, such great personality. Always that big smile. I love it. I love it. And he's so kind. And uh, he loves that his picture is right up there, right, right next to us here. Thank you. And I love you. Oh, my thank you, guys. Oh, you have a lot of colors there too. We it's certainly so do. We had to bring out a pop, right? Yeah. yeah. We celebrate Mardi Gras. We love to celebrate all the Yes, I love Mardi Gras. So and you I love two will join us for the next Mardi Gras parade then? Of course. Yes. yes. <laughs> you have to join me and Lottie on the big parade, okay? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Can we take a picture, baby? Yes, of course. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful lady, beautiful lady. Can I get one of you by yourself? I gotta take a beautiful picture of oh, yeah, you yeah. in your outfit. Beautiful outfit, yeah. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Tiana. Awesome. Thank, Thank you for visiting us. Bye. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow, she looks so beautiful. Wow, and she's so kind. I love that outfit. And she had that popping color there. That scarf looked amazing. I love her. Cinderella. <laughs>
Oh my god, look what kind of matching with the blue. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I guess we have similar fairy godmothers. Yes, yes. yes. Do you have glass slippers down there too? Uh, fortunately I do, but I have my comfy shoes. Oh yes, I don't suppose we'll be losing those before midnight. No, no. no. <laughs> uh, well maybe next time she can make you some glass yeah, slippers. absolutely. Like I'm going to have to ask her, hey Cinderella got glass slippers, can I have some too? Just make sure they have straps on them. Oh yeah, I don't like shoes without straps, then they fall off. It's true, and it's yeah. much more comfortable walking until midnight with two shoes. Oh yeah, very hard to dance in them. Yeah, and run off. <laughs> Can I take a picture? Yes. Take a picture with Cinderella. Perfect. Two beautiful ladies. Can I take one picture of just you by yourself? You're a beautiful model there. I was taking the pictures of. The characters for themselves. You love it, you love it. <laughs> beautiful outfit. Ooh, look at the nice thing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Beautiful as always. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'll tell Fairy Godmother. Thank you. Oh, I Thank you, Cinderella. Do. You're beautiful as always. Thank you for visiting. <laughs> wow, you look at her. Wow, she looks so beautiful as always. We've seen her before in Cinder in the royal Cinderella's table. Yeah, the royal table yeah. uh, but here is a different take, and it's a little bit more personal with her. And as usual. The way she talks, the way she carries herself, it's just amazing. Very humble, and this is why Cinderella is one of my favorite characters of all time, because she is amazing. Look at that, look at that. And she's saying hello to us from, to the uh, fairy godmother, which I love, so. Really good way to get a hold of all the favorite characters here. All joined together to celebrate the magical power of a wish. Your, your wish is gonna come true. We ask that you please return to your seats and have your wishing stars ready because it's now time to begin. Oh, let's see. visiting wish makers, they all made their wish come true. 
And sure, some had a little magical encouragement, but you know what? Each one of them also had everything they needed to make their wish come true all along. So remember, wish makers, all it may take for your wish to come true is for you to believe in you. Thank you, Aladdin. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Wow. You guys want to see what I wrote? Yeah. What's your wish, baby? You can't really see it too much. Mm -hmm. But I wrote that I, that we, or should I say at least my wish, I want to travel and visit all the Disney theme parks with my hubby. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That would be so babe. awesome. Yeah, we can continue to share experience with and our Magtastic family. share all of our experiences. family, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Well, I don't need to wait, write my wish on that card because my wish is coming true, which is sharing all our experiences with our Magtastic family. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> that but, is so true. Yeah, so that my wish is coming true, and hopefully the one that you wrote in, in that card, we'll show you later uh, at the end of the video what you wish for. So, but my wish is coming true, so that's awesome. So we have here, we're going to start with the syrup here. <laughs> we have the Mickey-shaped waffles. We have pancakes over here. They have the ooh, bread pudding with the vanilla cream analaise. It looks really delicious. You know I love bread pudding, guys. We have the cinnamon pull apart bread. It looks really juicy there. Really, really caramelized there. Ooh, it looks really good. We have here sausage gravy. We have biscuits there. We have oatmeal. We have the toppings here, like caramelized apples and brown sugar. We have here our famous Disney bacon, which I can't wait to try. Pork sausages over here. Over here we have the scrambled eggs, and we have cheesy scrambled eggs, which I think is even better. All that cheese is right on top of the eggs. We have here scrambled tofu, spiced tofu scramble, oh, really nice. And we have here a chicken sausage. Over here we have a beautiful carving station here. Look at all that, look at that ham there. Ooh, look at that really delicious over here we have cheese grits and here we have beef and potato hash which is almost gone i'm sure they're gonna refill it so it looks like it's really good really popular over here with it we have the classic eggs benedict with holiday sauce over here we have the cheesy potato casserole over here we have some toppings we have some red onions over here tomatoes we have capers over here we have the smoked salmon which it looks like it's pretty popular also we have some cream cheese over here to add with that. We have yogurt, granola, we have strawberry yogurt, fresh berries, cottage cheese. And then we move right over here. We have fruit salad and we have a watermelon salad over there. We have here the famous potato barrels. We have your croissant breakfast pizza, which kids I'm sure they'll love. And over here the cereal ball. Uh, we have the raisin bran, we have fruit loops, and then we have rice krispies here. Just noticed something here. They have a gummy candy dispensary. Wow, look at that. Let me see if I can try it. Let me see. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at the gummy bears coming out. <laughs> wow. Kids will love this. Candy in the morning. Over here we have bread for you to toast. There's a big toaster here. Bagels, multi green bread. We got whipped butter over here. Croissants on the other side. Grape jelly, orange marmalade, date jam, strawberry jelly, and of course cream cheese that go with the bagels. Here we have some whipped cream, some fresh strawberries, the famous strawberry soup which is right over there. Very nice. And over here to the to the right of it we have the guava and cheese danises. We have here banana bread, double, uh, double chocolate muffin, and the golden halls. Overall, great items on this buffet. Lots to choose from, lots of desserts. We can't wait to try it. Maybe later afterwards, maybe I can get a little bit of that sopita de fresa. Yeah. That's really tasty, right? That sopita de fresa. Oh, maybe I can get the, really? Maybe I can get the recipe and I can take it back to mama and shake yeah. it the version. I'm thinking maybe she could even add a little bit of guayaba in it too. Yeah, Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. I mean, have yeah. you ever had a big fruit salad, lots of different fruit salads yes. together? I love that. It kind of makes it yeah. smooth. You know what I did? 
a little trick. I just put a little bit of whipped cream on top and that gives that little extra oomph to it. You no, know, I think maybe I'll try that. I'll do one with just a fresita and then I'll do a little bit with whipped Yeah, You absolutely. know, my primo Camilo, he likes things very sweet, so maybe he'll like that version. Maybe I'll put a bit of cinnamon too. You know, oh, cinnamon goes cool. great with everything. That sounds good. It's a good idea. We're thinking of our own recipe. Yeah. You know? We'll have the fresita over here and then we'll make our own cinnamon. There you go. There you go. Thank you. All right, see you later. Oh. Giving us food ideas. Food ideas. Ooh, con guayaba. And it's to show that they come around a lot. It's yeah, like, they do. Just to check to see how we're doing. <laughs> what do you guys think? Huh? Oh, you know what? I think my favorite part is that strawberry soup. Hey, oh my goodness. And I had it. I told you know, again, the little trick is to put a little bit of whipped cream on top. Oh, it that extra kick to it. I didn't even know they had some. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Nice. I'm definitely going to have to remember that one. Yes, definitely. And for you, babe, tell him what's your favorite. Always. Always is the bacon, but I call it the Disney bacon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Disney bacon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy your vegetables. Thank you, Aladdin. Thank you, Thank you for visiting. Bye bye. Aladdin huh? checking up on us also. Checking up on us, making sure what we like the most, and I like that. They're like the, uh, how should I say? The follow up behind yep. the, the check up. The check up. <laughs> make sure that everything's going to the to your liking. They're being great hosts. Wow. Delicious, delicious. So far, my favorite is the strawberry soup. Like I told uh, Aladdin and Miraren, my favorite is definitely the soup with additional whipped cream on top. Oh, that's, that's the... Like you said, an extra oomph, a little extra kick yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. That's the secret. Um, and Make you it know even what? better. It was really... I forgot how it tasted. I think I had it once before, back in the days. And I, I thought, from what I remembered or recall, that I thought it was going to be more like a yogurt consistency. But it's actually not. And what I like, it wasn't so soupy. It's not... A little bit yogurt, thicker. It's a little bit it's thicker. It's not soupy, but yeah. it's a little bit thicker. But it has a good consistency, and the flavors is so natural. I really enjoy it with that extra cream on it, and it's so refreshing. And you put the, some strawberry in it too, give that extra kick to it. So I enjoyed that. Um, I give that a five out of five. Definitely is a must try when you uh, come to 1900 Park Fair. Second thing I tried was an egg Benedict. Mm, that looked the really good. The Benedict was really good. The mm -hmm. consistency was right on point. Um, you gotta be careful because once you bite into it, all the yolk goes everywhere. Yeah. So it's a little messy. A little messy, yeah. Um, but I like the, the bread, the, the bread on it. The consistency of the egg was right on point. It was very, uh, what did I say? Uh, very loose, but not watery. Yeah. So it, it was like done perfectly, perfectly to my liking. And that's one of my favorite things when I come to Disney. I was there for Eggs Benedict, and they did it beautifully here. You can even see on the buffet how beautiful it looks. Yeah. Really nice. So I give that also a 5 out of 5 for me. Uh, hopefully you guys will give it a 5 out of 5 also. Um, the ham was nice and thick. And I like how they, the chefs cut it nice and sliced and they cut it in between so it was also very nice uh very good flavor not too sweet and not unflavorful so it was perfect uh i'm gonna give that a four out of five, four out of five not a perfect five mm -hmm. but the ham was really delicious as well and i well, how about the biscuits baby the biscuit is really good i actually liked it with the gravy mm -hmm. i thought the gravy was not gonna have some kind of flavor but actually the gravy was nice and uh, made the biscuit a little bit more savory and it had a nice uh, I would say salty flavor yeah. wasn't spicy or anything like that season, it, really? it was the seasoned gravy very season, well yeah. the gravy season was really good um, it's sausage flavor so oh, that's probably that's like sausage why gravy. sausage oh. flavor well, that makes so even better. that makes the biscuit even better the biscuit was right on point not hard not stale flavor uh, nice and fresh so I give that, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 mm -hmm. for that. Um, Do me a favor, babe. Can you try the sausage real quick? Oh, yeah. Let me try the sausage yeah. here. It looks really good. There you go. Let's try the sausage on camera here. Okay. Actually, it's pretty good. Yeah, it has a 
it does it have any crisp to it? Is it like crispy? I think it, I wish like it a little would crisp? be a little crispier. Okay. It's a little more soggy. So, a little soft, but yeah. But it still has a good flavor. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5 for the sauce. It's not the best sauce it's ever had, but it's not terrible. So it's really good as well. So, so far, this is everything I've tried. I'm going to try a couple more things. Because there's so much to try in that buffet that we're trying to pace ourselves. Yeah, definitely. Like you. Yeah, no. Hello again. Yes. yes. You are all soaking up all the fun today, right? I mm -hmm. am enjoying all the food. It's so delicious. We're still saving yes. the best for last, which is your bread pudding. So I you might even have to go back for a second time. Yeah. Yes. So, and I know he's a big fan of bread pudding. Well, so, I, think you'll, I think you'll enjoy it. We gotta try yours, and he's gonna give you the feedback after. Well, I can't wait to hear yeah. it. Yeah. Hi there. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, she was checking also on us. And I like how uh, she wants you to try that bread pudding. I will. I will. And then Paul's gonna give his feedback to her. So my plate was more traditional. I got the eggs, I got the bacon, I got the, the waffles. That, uh, the Disney bacon, delicious as always, you know, big fan of Disney bacon. Uh, everywhere we go, the Disney bacon is on point. Uh, the, the cheesy scrambled eggs was delicious. Way better than the regular scrambled eggs, so if you guys come here, get the cheesy scrambled eggs if you love the cheese. Um, and then the, the waffles, the Mickey waffles are always excellent. It was nice and soft. Um, overall, I give my plate a more traditional plate. A five out of five. You can't go wrong with uh, eggs and bacon and the waffles. There are some plant-based items on the buffet, like the tofu. So right here, this is what it looks like. So if you don't want to try the regular scrambled eggs, they do have tofu. For me, I don't like it. I don't like the flavor. It's not bad, but it's not for me. So it might be something that you might like. It does look very pretty, and it is very pretty. You got some tomatoes, and it looks like some, some. Um, look at my plate here. I think this is squash in it, so some vegetables in it. It's just that for me, it, it seems a little too salty for me. That's the only oh, okay. reason why I didn't like it. It was a little too up in the salt for me. And so honestly, it, what would you give it? And I love plant-based stuff, don't get me wrong guys, but in this case, I get this, I would say a two out of five. Two out of five, but remember guys, we don't, we're not, we don't like tofu that much. Yeah. We, Magnus wanted to try it, but this is, this is our, our opinion from, a, from people who don't like, like vegan stuff or, or vegetarian stuff normally, but it's a two out of five, baby. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not bad. And they also have like a chicken sausage. So mm -hmm. that's also on the plant-based side. They have chicken sausage. And it was really good. I actually have it here on my plate. So is it really chicken or is it is it fake chicken? Let me chicken? taste it. Let me I have not tasted it yet. So I know they have pork and pork in. It's chicken. It's chicken. So it's not vegetarian, baby. But or, or, or vegan. For the tofu they, they have. missing the flavor. But I definitely would, the tofu they been. have that as available yeah, for Yeah, so they have those vegan. two items yeah. for you. So my second plate, I went with, uh, I tried Tiana's bread pudding. It's okay. Um, I would give it a, with the sauce, I give it a three out of five with the sauce. Okay, not Without bad. Without the sauce, it's still a three out of five. Like I said, uh, it's all right. Uh, but the, the what I really like is the pull of bread part, uh, pull of bread bread, pull of part bread. This is really sticky. This is delicious. This is like a, a must if you guys need to try this. Um, that, I give it a five out of five. Springer looking good. <laughs> uh, the potato casserole, the cheesy potato casserole, delicious. I give that a five out of five. The potato hat, I give it a four out of five. Uh, I wow, think if, if and you're had, not into that. No, I'm not, yeah, I think if it had cheese, just like the cheesy casserole, uh, potato casserole, it would be a five out of five, but not bad at all. And then the, the, the breakfast pizza, the croissant breakfast pizza, delicious. It had bits of uh, Disney bacon and, uh, and cheese and egg. That's a five out of five too. Kids would love that. Oh yeah, I was just Kids gonna say that. Kids would definitely love that. But overall, like I said, this whole experience, the food, everything's a five out of five for me. So I very enjoy it. I enjoy it immensely. The food is great. The ambiance, you can't go wrong. Amazing breakfast. Oof, so Today good. was a wonderful, beautiful day. Mm -hmm, definitely. And it definitely made our day to try a restaurant that's been here for years. Yeah. 
but rethemed, reimagined, com re yeah. Yeah. completely. That is the word, mm -hmm. reimagined, yes. because it has been. Mm -hmm. And starting from the cast members, uh, I mean, from the hostess all the way to the um, servers. Shout out to uh, Michelle, the hostess, mm -hmm. and shout out to Tanya, Tanya, our server. Tanya, you were excellent. Amazing <laughs> as always, Tanya. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if it wasn't for them, I mean, I, I think this just makes it much more special. Definitely. The cast members, the mm -hmm. interaction with them, the information they give you, the um, just the way they take care of you in the restaurant is just incredible, mm -hmm. incredible. Um, I would say the Disney characters, yeah. I loved the interaction with Prince them. Prince Ali was my favorite, Aladdin. <laughs> he was so awesome. He was, mm -hmm. he was amazing and I love his personality. Yeah. And even though he is Prince, AKA Prince Ali, it does not change who he really is. And I love the whole, all the four characters. I really enjoyed that I got, we, we both had personal time with the characters. They came around several times yes, while we were did. there. Mm -hmm. And I did enjoy the personal interaction with Mirabel. Um, and I also enjoyed it with Tiana, which are two new Disney characters that I have. We have not had any pictures or been able to meet and greet as of today. Mm -hmm. So we were able to do that. I love Mirabel. She had she a awesome. nice personality, very mm -hmm. bubbly, very friendly, just yes. like she is. And uh, Tiana with her new outfit. With new outfit that yeah. is the outfit she's going to have on the new, the uh, reimagined. Uh, ride, the Tiana ride. ride. So yeah. the Tiana's adventure. That mm -hmm. we can't wait for that. It's gonna be really nice. And I love how they did her outfit. It was really out amazing, just like it's going to be in the actual ride. Mm -hmm. um, and the theming is excellent, beautiful. Yes. The wallpaper, big Bertha, the big organ, the different yes. portraits of all the of all the characters. Overall, excellent, excellent, excellent experience here at, at the 1900 Park Fair. Definitely recommend you guys coming out, trying another yeah. breakfast. And it's a look out in the future, we are coming back for the dinner. dinner. So we're gonna see how that is compared to the breakfast. And hopefully it'll be just as good, right? Yeah, and I can't wait to try some of those new uh, drinks as well. They have a lot of um, uh, zero proof cocktails mm -hmm. uh, for those who don't like to drink. And then you also have those nice, amazing cocktails were very refreshing and they're beautiful. Beautiful. Um, but overall, the breakfast was amazing. We definitely, I definitely give it a five out of five. How about you, babe? Five out of five, Disney bacon, it was always the best. <laughs> <laughs> and that strawberry soup, highly, highly a must try. Yeah, you gotta try it. And if you found this video useful and delicious in any way, remember to like, share and subscribe. subscribe and please follow our socials like we always say our instagram our facebook our twitter our TikTok. Yes. Uh, you'll find good information on there and if you want to support us even further we have a great merchandise store the magtastic merch down below link down below we have shirts like disney bacon dangerous, dangerous drinks, drinks all that mugs every, all all types of knickknacks and awesome merchandise yeah absolutely <laughs> well today guys was a great day today was a magtastic day. day thank you all so much for watching we'll see you on the next magtastic productions, productions. bye, bye.